the girl who is you know blonde hair and blue eyes or the darker skinned girls you know no one really pays attention to the, the people who have darker skin and I feel like that's so rooted in literal systematic racism Hey everyone! Welcome yes. to our first series of the Tea Times Podcast! Woo! So today we are going to talk about what it's like being an influencer in Miami. Mm -hmm. With being an influencer in Miami, I feel like a lot of influencers don't really value themselves or know how much value they bring to the table. table. Agreed. Especially, personally, I feel like if you are in the industry for some time i feel like you learn more and grow and a lot of businesses don't look and value or see those things when they want to work with an influencer Influencer, yeah and that's so funny because what they're trying to do is grow um their um their customers they want more people to come in so how do you expect to have more revenue when you're downplaying the the effects of what a true influencer can pull. True, you know yeah, I mean? because it's one influencer can pull millions of customers just by one video. Mm -hmm. Almost. Mm -hmm. And we've recently had an experience where we were undervalued and disrespected. And disrespected when we went to this recent restaurant to collab. It's just like we we can be paid to do this, but we're doing this for free just to support the business, support the local area, and support vegan establishments. And it's like we're not being paid for this and we're doing a barter exchange and it's just like they didn't understand how the influence the influence business works or the influence industry works so they kind of just they kind of downgraded us and it yeah, was disrespectful and we just didn't even end up posting for them because of the disrespect that we received I'm not gonna call any names yeah, yeah. <laughs> So what does it feel like for you, Allison, when you come into contact with other influencers, when you go to events, and what's the energy like? Well, a lot of the time, I experience and all of us experience jealousy and bad mind, even though it could be sugarcoated as like them being really friendly. Fuck. Yeah. See, that's what you really have to look out for, the influencers that seem too nice at the beginning, like, mm -hmm. oh, really friendly. Really yeah, because energy doesn't lie. Yeah, you could yeah. naturally pick up on someone sending you bad vibes. But sometimes, sometimes they may come off as really genuine, but others it's... You can you tell. Know. It's giving scissor ghost in the machine. Can you hate <laughs> on me and mask, mask it with, with laughter? laughter. <laughs> Yeah, because yeah, when I do come across some influencers, it's like, they're nice, but they still give off some type of projection where they're feeling insecure with themselves, so they project it onto you. Especially when we come around influencers who have their significant others around them. Ooh, it's just like, I don't want to overstep any boundaries, I kind of keep eye contact when I'm talking to one or... Yeah, and it's like sometimes when I feel like I do come around an influencer that are couples, you feel like you'll have to downplay yourself because mm -hmm. you feel that way and you start to think like, why, why do I feel like I have to reserve myself just to make someone else feel better? Yeah, like that's not fair to you at all. Yeah. It's insecurity in themselves. And what's so limiting with that is the whole gist of why you guys even collaborated was to actually create like a I don't know, like a um, a community, exactly. yeah, a mutual community. That's mm -hmm. exactly so. How would you expect for that to grow when you're so caught up in paying attention to the trivial things like physical appearance or what you can That's offer? You know, mm -hmm. I don't know. It, it's like you should look past that, no matter how, um, no matter the the darkness, yeah, or the that, negative thoughts that come up because. It's natural for all of us to get intrusive thoughts, like, that's normal, but you put those, put those things aside and focus on the goals, like... And the task at hand. Yeah, the task at hand, like, And being present in the moment, mm -hmm. like... Enjoying it. When you go back to the moment of just being in a space with other like-minded individuals, it shows you and it shows how much you're capable of together when you're thinking of... Sila. Joining Sila. together! Yeah. <laughs> and not thinking of, yeah... Um, separation or individual lack because mm -hmm. if you feel like what well, that's another thing that comes up when I'm around people it's like 
they feel this so some sort of some sort some sort of a <laughs> lack within themselves and then they start to focus on the negatives like okay something something has to be off right here in this moment so let me focus on the negatives or let me bring up something to trigger them and then that's when they start to show signs of projection like and that is literal um, depiction of the matrix it's mm -hmm. showing you all the parts of yourself that aren't really you but more a vibration that a lot of people resonate with because a lot of people love to um, to get caught up in the fast life mm -hmm. and it's also energy vampires that feed off of the negativity that they bring you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. discuss that first what is an energy vampire well in my opinion i would say an energy vampire is someone that is very selfish with trying to grasp the energy within the room because they want attention or just they want to feel some some emptiness inside of them that um they're looking for in other people rather than bringing something to the table they they'd rather feed off of others and it's like there's ne it's it's never enough mm -hmm. it's just they just want more and more until they feel self satisfied it's like green and gluten exactly mm -hmm. and it it never it's just never enough it's never enough and you can always tell with the things they talk about with body language with how um just like how they project their energy onto you, and you can feel it too. Um, yeah, yeah. You, you really feel like you're surrounded by an energy vampire when you go home and you feel extremely drained and you don't feel fulfilled and you yeah. don't feel like motivated to do something new or work on like your goals or to do better. Like As influencers, we experience coming in contact with a lot of energy vampires. Sometimes it's hard for us to like find genuine connections because some people are so caught up in different things that we don't align with or low vibrational things that are draining. Like you said, they're energy vampires. So. And sometimes I feel as well, not to put you off, mm -hmm. but um, it's like you, after a day of hanging out with some of these people that they're so, they're so called friends or um, acquaintances it's like you get these thoughts and you're wondering where these thoughts come from because you've never thought of the, these thoughts have never come into you've never thought of them before so it's like where are these thoughts coming from that are so dark mm -hmm. you know yes. or it's, it just it's not resonant you know especially in public settings like even going to the grocery store or being in school because I'm still in school mm -hmm. being in school being around so many different energies and coming across and encountering different people that aren't sure of themselves and their energy their energy they you can just already feel the feel it rub off on, on you it's yeah. complete projection mm -hmm. and, 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 yeah and i feel like all of us being empaths we feel a lot of people's energies so it's like we can walk in a room and we can know when someone's feeling off or something's True. going on and you can so, also tell when someone is very confident in themselves people instantly like the whole room's attention would just draw to them because mm -hmm. people can pick up energy and energy vampires can pick up energy when you are what i like to call it is uh, a battery a social battery and people love to feed off of social batteries <laughs> yes. you know like literally just feed and off that's what we are yeah you can tell, yes. you can tell. Yeah. of course you consider we are a social battery of course like mm -hmm. well, as soon as you step in the room and it's not even to gloat or or toot our own horn but when you're sure of yourself and you know who you are and what expression you are, um, just your expression, just knowing what expression you have and staying confident in that can be mm -hmm. so polarizing mm -hmm. with negative and positive Very energies. True. That it throws people's energetic fields off uh, guard. Yes. Like, that's what happens sometimes. We'll step into a room and because the energy is so off, it'll it'll F up someone else's feel, their own feel, and they don't know what to do with themselves. So they, they start to act weird and mm -hmm. they start to just project and look weird. And Yesterday we went to the lake, we went to the <laughs> park, and we were doing TikTok dances and our energy was super heightened and there wasn't that much things going on. But after our energy was like, we were dancing, the energy was right nice. 
people started surrounding us like random people just started coming around the area they were like wondering what was going on trying to get into just the crazy. TikTok they want, they yeah they, wanna, they were trying to get the TikTok yeah, they want to join our energy because it feels yes. good because yeah. it's genuine and it's literally just tr us trying to be ourselves and enjoy what we're expressing yeah. literally and once you know that you like what you're doing, I'm telling you, that it's, is yeah, so powerful. That type of energy is magnetic. It's yeah, very it's magnetic. magnetic. That's yeah. the one specifically. Mm -hmm. The girl who is, you know, blonde hair and blue eyes, or the darker skinned girls, you know, no one really pays attention to the, the people who have darker skin. And I feel like that's so rooted in literal systematic racism, because... It's, it's deemed that if you are darker skinned, you're not as worthy as a person who has lighter skin or lighter eyes or um, blonde hair. You know, it's all just erasing the culture or the color within humanity. Yeah, that's a sad thing that we've experienced many times. Racism in Miami. Like when she had a brunch and, and... We were the only black girls at this brunch event that we were invited to and the energy was so off, like they mistreated us. We were always placed last in some type of situation. It just felt like we were kind of degraded in a sense. And we were actually the only black girls in the group chat, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> and as you guys can tell, we're not even that black in compared to our skin color. Yeah, she basically told us she needed us because we were, we're black. black. Yeah. yeah. And it's not so. even like, there. it's not even like, it's obvious that there's colorism mm -hmm. at play because it's it's like they're not accepting the fact that they want black influencers they want someone that's light skinned, light skinned. brown skinned you yeah. know because it seemed as more tolerated <laughs> <laughs> and it's not even the authenticity of it they didn't invite you because they wanted to include you they invited you because they didn't want to be seen as only having white, white girls, girls. Yeah. yeah i'm still at all yeah. like the they're trying to show that diversity that and it's it's like it seems it's as normal like it doesn't bother these people like it doesn't seem as insulting to them because it's so normal yes. and you don't like it's seen so much in media it's programmed in like media television shows you always see the black characters in a degrading role or no. in a role that's just very Stereotypical. Stereotypical. Yeah. Yeah. Not only black, people of color, even Asians, Latinos, Latinos yeah. Yeah, Hispanics. Just yeah. the, all the minorities are seen as not not worthy of sitting at the same table as the whites. So the they're for entertainment. <laughs> the yeah. 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 Or just like a placeholder, like a little extra just to put in, just to make it seem like, oh, there's diversity when in actuality. Yeah, and we've heard other influencers talk about this online. And they they experience the same things we do, and it's just yeah. like sad to see it. Let us know if you guys want us to do a whole other video with other black people in the community that have experienced racism mm -hmm. leave it in the comments or any other colored people yeah yeah, no, no, yeah people yeah. of color, people <laughs> of color. <laughs> color. <laughs> another topic i wanted to delve into was um ego in the knowledge that you're sharing a lot of people tend to attach themselves to the knowledge that they've acquired feeling like they own the knowledge and they're sharing it like there's some guru or some spiritual god that you must worship, worship because yeah. oh the, the knowledge that I'm giving is so um, groundbreaking and, and, and world-changing, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, I feel like when you're humble in what you're trying to express, it can be very healing to the ego. Um, because people also tend to think that we're supposed to kill the ego, but I think it's knowing when to use the ego in a, an appropriate time and place. Exactly. Because you know? yeah, it's, it's still part of you. True, and that goes back to knowing your worth as well mm -hmm. and the ego is there for it's there for a reason it's your self-defense it's your guard it's like it protects you from people sending you negativity on the back line mm -hmm. and it also sh helps you to see the darkness because a lot of the the misconception in spirituality is everything is love and light yeah. and that's not true because everything is actually a balance mm -hmm. of light and dark you know when people, we, we obviously know when someone isn't a true um, spiritual or enlightened soul, when they're 
doubt when they're um, disregarding the fact that there's darkness in light and there's light in darkness mm -hmm. true and just being able to embrace both sides of yourself that's when you truly get to understand yourself and just knowing that we are both masculine and feminine we are both light and dark there's both good and bad within us and just understanding not to attach yourself to the bad because or anything to yeah. be honest even the good i feel like it's just a learning experience and the more that you attach yourself is the more that you actually you the, the more you, you actually the ego yeah in this egotistical world because that's the matrix when you really think about it i watched this video on tiktok and he's basically saying he's kind of comparing how there is spirituality and then there is a heightened spirituality so when you get caught up in the ego basically get caught up in what your character is like trying to the eye heighten the character whether it's comparing yourself to someone shaming someone putting them on like on a pe pedestal mm -hmm. that's when you get caught up in your world even when it's just like things with for example like working out on your body but you're working out why to please yourself to improve people or to get a better image out there that's really getting caught up in the ego and and we do all find ourselves in that position mm -hmm. everyone goes normal. through that position when it deals to like comparison and being an influencer in the industry because we're all comparing each ourselves to each other on social media and seeing how we can grow but when it is that we do find ourselves going into that position we find ourselves becoming a part of the society standards mm -hmm. and that's when we start to lose our true nature of self and why we came here on earth to really grow as an individual while being able to accept and love others individual expressions so that's another dark side of the influencer lifestyle in Miami just the comparison and the models trying to do the same thing and follow society's standards of what is cool or acceptable yeah, it's because like everyone, we all have our own avatars, which are our own, our own vessels that help us direct ourselves on earth and help us really, really and truly move forward and grow as like individuals. Wow. <laughs> and I also think that um, it takes a certain amount of awareness awareness is everything because once you're aware of um, the ego trying to take over um, uh, an experience or a situation then if you have enough awareness you can know when to stop and pull back and knowing when to use it in the right place and time mm -hmm. it's all about it always goes back to awareness and how much awareness you have in the moment yeah, mm -hmm. many, many influencers get caught in the physical and they try their very hardest to look alike and I'll try to go for the same appearances of what they think is deemed as beautiful or what they think will please man. Based on society standards. The and male gaze, yes. Yeah. The male the male gaze, definitely. Yeah, what helps me to not get so caught up is meditating, just going back to yourself, taking some deep breaths and just detaching. Yeah, stepping outside. And grounding yourself. Nature, nature is so important because we're all put in these boxes from the mm -hmm. We're in school, we're in the office, nine to five. Like, how much time do we really find ourselves connecting back to nature? Mm -hmm. To touch some grass. Yeah, yeah. going to the beach. The grass. beach is so healing for you guys. Oh I love going to the beach. So what? <laughs> no way. So the dark side of uh, <laughs> the influencer world is how women and men are sexualized in the industry. Personally, Elena and I used to do music videos. That's kind of how we started growing our page and getting out there. And when I really look back at it now, I wasn't as conscious as I was then, but we were kind of sexualized in a way. And the woman, everyone on set was sexualized, whether it was the clothes they were wearing, how they were interacting with the artist or the art artist's music and how it was edited how it was edited the like moves, the, the, yeah everything and it's just 
in a degrading much. way where it doesn't really uplift the woman and how graceful and powerful women are yeah. and it's even, like women are seen as objects yeah, yeah. yeah. and it's so sad because Woman are God. Woman is God. Woman is a wo God is a woman. Mm -hmm. like, woman. Woman. Exactly. Uh, a but, balance. More of a balance, I'd say, course. because you, it, it, it's not, it's on neither side. God is more gender neutral. But the thing is, I feel with that specifically because the masculine energy in this modern modern day and age has pushed. Um, the woman as more seen as objects or things that are just like placeholders mm -hmm. you know like women are made to cater to men when in actuality it's supposed to be a unity in creating that that's literally how you get to god is unity a balance you know yeah and i feel like currently the toxic masculinity is way more heightened than the divine femininity so there's a imbalance and that's why there's so much, I feel, projection and men just wanting and sexualizing women and putting them, not even like, not even having them, just degrading them overall. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's triggering, it's very that's triggering. Right. And that's why we have so much imbalance and, you know, um, I'm all for feminism and stuff like that, but it also shows because feminism came out of the imbalance of men being so greedy mm -hmm. for power and trying to stay on top of everything Control. You know, and change the narrative and and the, the narrative of what life is actually supposed to be about like the onk the onk <laughs> represents the onk represents unity in the male and the female and they literally took off the circle at the top creating a cross which only stands for the masculine yeah. being as dominant Even why is the why is the woman <laughs> supposed sorry yes. but why is the woman seen as objects that are supposed to just be in the kitchen cooking for people yeah. and, and I'm saying. while men are the ones that are making the more money why are men supposed to be making more money why why can't women make the same amount of money why can't we just have equality you know even in christianity it says the father son and the holy spirit where is the woman exactly exactly mary, the virgin yeah why is i don't know why is the virgin mary deemed as the perfect woman right so because she's a sense. virgin yeah and wasn't she 14. Mm -hmm. <laughs> question like, question uh, there's so much negativity within the re uh, uh, the religious standpoint. We're not gonna get too yeah, much into yeah, that. It's a very touchy subject. Yeah. Let us know if you guys want us to go into that another another video. Yeah. yeah. In, in actuality, you know, I, I as I said, feminism is a beautiful thing and should be cherished. But I also think that because men have been so toxic in how they in in terms of roles. They've created this imbalance where women have to push their masculine energy in order to create a safety net for themselves, which is why there's such separation. And when it comes when it comes to the core problem of this modern day and age, mass consciousness, mass um, society, I think. The problem is, it's separation. They want us to be separated. They do not want man and woman to be united because once united, then we can actually create a divine connection to God. Mm -hmm. well mm -hmm. uh, at the end of the day, there's light and darkness in everything, and it's up to you to choose which side you want to support, mm -hmm. you know, in this world, because there will always be light and there will always be dark. And just knowing your worth and knowing yourself like self-awareness is key especially like being an influencer just knowing your worth stepping out in the industry and putting yourself out there where you can meet genuine people if you're grounded and you know yourself being an influencer is not as bad as it seems but mm -hmm. it does have its dark side and it is a real job because it takes a lot of effort it's not easy it's not a hobby yes there's definitely yeah. it's not just for fun yeah it's <laughs> not just for fun there's a lot of worth and, and um experience but you can make it fun mm -hmm. experience that goes into being an influencer 
dark comes with the light. So if you guys want to know the lighter and brighter sides of being an influencer, let us know. Hello. <laughs> Thanks. Give to the community. Mm -hmm. Give to the community. Unconditional love, guys. Mm -hmm. That's the wave that we're on. Unconditional love. Yeah. No one's perfect. We're all here to learn and grow. That's why we've started this podcast. Yeah, take it day by day. And loving our differences. We have differences for a reason. We all cannot be the same. Otherwise, this re this world would have no reason. You, what are you coming? What are you offering to the table? That that's the rainbow. You know, each color gives its own um, spectrum. Mm -hmm. it's, it, there, it's a spectrum. Everything is a spectrum in terms of what you're offering you know just being confident in what you're giving and what you're offering so make sure to leave a like comment and, and subscribe, subscribe.